Hello, how to solve k to the power of 2 times k power 6 equals 3? Solving for the value of k that satisfies this equation. So, I can see that let x equals k power 6. And if that is the case, that means k to the power of 6 equals x. I can solve for k. I have k power 6. This is raised to the power of 1 over 6 equals x power 1 over 6 as well. I multiply this exponent. I have k power, this is 6 divided by 6 equals x power 1 over 6. So 6 divided by 6 is 1, so I have k equals x power 1 over 6. Now, remember the k power 6 here is x. So this is k power 2 times x equals 3. Now, also remember that k is x power 1 over 6. So this is k, I'm going to have x power 1 over 6 raised to the power of this is 2x equals 3. Have you seen that? Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n, that means I'm going to have x to the power of 2x times 1, that is 2x divided by 6 here equals 3. 2 eliminate itself, eliminate is 3. So that means we have x power, this is x divided by 3, equals 3. So to solve for x, I can raise this to the power of 3. I raise this to the power of 3. Now, if you have a power n again, raise to the power of n, equals a power n times m. So I multiply this. I have x power 3 times x over 3, that is 3x over 3, equals 3 power 3. 3 eliminates 3, so I have x power x equals 3 power 3. Now, if you have a power a equals b power b, meaning a equals b. So, x power x equals 3 power 3, that means x equals 3. Then we can solve for k by making use of this identity. k equals x power 1 over 6. k equals x power 1 over 6. And this is our x. So we can solve for k. Let's make this the subject. So I have k power, this is 6 equals this is x power 1 over 6. I raise it to the power of 6 again. I multiply this exponent. So I have x that is 6 over 6, that is 1, equals k power 6. Because you multiply this, it cancels out. We have x equals k power 6. And this is our x, so we have x equals 3. That means k power 6 equals 3. Because x is k power 6, we can solve for k of k power 6. I raise it to the power of 1 over 6 equals 3 power of 1 over 6 as well. Then I multiply this exponent of k power 6 over 6. 6 times 1 over 6, that's 2 over 6, equals 3 power 1 over 6. 6 over 6 here is 1. So I have k equals 3 power 1 over 6. Now remember, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1, which is the same thing as a. So k equals the 6 root of 3 power 1, which is the same thing as 3. This is our solution. So guys, this is the solution for k. You can check. I have k power 2 times k power 6 equals 3 and k equals 
we have the six root of three or three power one over six. From what we are soft, we can easily check. So I simply have three power one over six. That is my key. Then raised to the power of two times k again, three power one over six. And this is raised to the power of six. And this equals three. So we consider a power n raised to the power of m equals a power n times n. So we start by multiplying this stress exponent. That is six times one, six over six, that is one. That means you are going to have three or one over six raised to the power of two. And this is times three because one over six times six is six over six, which is one. This equals three. So from here, we multiply this. I have three power one over six, raised to the power of two times three, that is six, and this equals three. So I go back to this other identity, a power n, raised to the power of m equals a power n times n. So I multiply this. So what I will have is three power six times one. So we have divided by six here equals three. And six divided by six here is one. So I have three equals three. So that has satisfied the equation. So meaning that the value of k, which is the six root of three or three power one over six has satisfied the equation. And that is it in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and goodbye.